Hey guys, gossip and reactions, Marie Sick. Bill Mayer predicts it's over for Trump. Comedian Bill Mayer said he thinks former President Trump is going to lose the 2024 presidential election in November on his HBO show on Friday. I watched the show and you make too many jokes of Haitian eating cats and dogs. I know you're joking, but we need to put some kind of closure on this. It's not true. Instead of making joke fun, we need to stop the bullshit. And trust me, I'm a fan of Bill Mayer. But when it comes to the Haitian people, as a Haitian woman myself, I need to defend my people. Enough is enough. This is not funny anymore. There was bomb threat. There was all kind of things going on in Springfield, Ohio. We cannot support that kind of BS that former President Trump is putting out there. Tonight, I am saying I think it's over. Bill Mayer told political commentator and GOP poster Christian Solis, Soltis Anderson and former Senator L. Franklin on Real Time with Bill Mayer. I just think he's going to lose, Mayor added. Mayor added he believes he has the credibility to make his prediction because he had previously been labeled a Trump alarmist and was convinced the former president still had a chance even after the Access Hollywood tape where Trump bragged about groping and kissing women without their consent was released. So Tis Anderson was quick to oppose Mayor. I do not share your confident and knowing how this is going to go she said she argued that setting polls aside trump's power is and the fact that voters know him and his policies what policies he has no plan no policies give me a break so he's still able to hold his own those are full foolishness seriously i don't understand the logic this man on stage debating VP Kamala Harris, looked like a total mess, could not defend himself, have no plan, no vision, okay? He tried 60 times to eliminate Obamacare, could not do it, and he still doesn't have anything in mind to replace it. Like, are you guys really serious in America? Can you really look at yourself and say, I am going to vote for this man? that create violent that are smearing all kind of false rumors about haitian eating cats and dogs that has not even a plan to how he's going to resolve the crisis on child care his billionaire millionaire friends ask him do you have a plan no like come on yeah i mean come on american people are smart they're not dumb you can't sell them garbage Come on, y'all. I do not share your confidence in knowing how this is going to go, she said. She argued that setting polls aside, Trump's power is in the fact that voters know him and his policies, so he's still able to hold his own. You look at these battleground states, they are still 50-50, she said. Pulling from the Hill decision desk, HQ shows Harris leading Trump by less than one percent in battleground states like michigan and pennsylvania let me tell you something the poll showing that former president trump is head to head or one point ahead is because america is not ready to see a woman let alone a black woman to be in charge of this great country this is the problem it's racist and sexist and if anybody were common sense I, i'm so sorry i have to go deep on that if somebody were common sense go through former president donald trump history of failed businesses crooks 34 felonies he probably might be going to jail soon and you still think this guy is the right person to be in charge of this great country? You out of your goddamn mind. That's all I got to say. I'm sorry. It is what it is. If you cannot see this man, you might not agree with everything VP Kamala Harris has to put on the table. But at least she can express what she's going to do, what she wants to do. This former president cannot even express what he's going to do. He has no plan, no vision. Are you serious? And I strongly think VP Kamala Harris should consider Mark Cuban some kind of position there because he's really good. He has said some stuff that makes sense. 
again it's unfortunate we have mark cuban versus elon musk i know two billionaires um elon musk is a autocrat sexist racist and when it comes to Q mark cuban more of a family man businessman understanding the logic of the fifty thousand dollar vp kamala harris offered people for business i mean like wake up and smell the coffee yeah. i know you guys are not ready for a black person let alone a woman to take charge of this country would you try to see what she has to bring to the table instead of taking this crazy older man that his memory is fogging that he's in love with dictatorship nicola madulos president of china ken jong-un putin those are the people he loves like are you serious give me a break if you cannot go by all this and see the debate and now he refused to debate a third time he's claiming he's the winner where in a fucking hell watching yourself debating this woman giving all her plan all her policies all the vision she has for america where you could not even give one you were fighting about your card sizes like president obama said like what is the obsession with the card sizes like does it effing matter he's comparing <laughs> like come on enough is enough when you look at vp kamala harris card sizes we don't want to go there but we got to to see thousands thousands of people there screaming yelling i'm hoping those people really vote and looking at his quad where there was empty chairs like if that don't get to his effing head you are not winning like what else are you serious oh it just crossed me out as a haitian woman here in america living for 30 years have four beautiful kids i appreciate everything america has given me and my kids i work hard for my kids i work hard to sing things back home to help my family back home we don't come here to beg to steal have some respect on the haitian people and where are all the haitians and again thank you john legend thank you john legend for stepping out and say something in the defense of haitian hard-working people where are all the haitians are here man they want your vote you know to be in government office now this former orange man is disrespecting the haitian community none of them come out to say something man what in the hell is going on why are you guys afraid why are you guys chicken out say something god damn it oh i'm sick of it subscribe thank you for watching